Hi there, and welcome to a very special Valentine's Day episode of Danger Dave on a Roll. The show where we discuss classic acts and sideshow and their history. Tonight's featured presentation, we're going to be discussing an act not often seen in live theater. I'm talking about the act of full penetration. Yes, tonight's feature performance is for those who like to let their passions run wild. Let's get nice and deep and just truly get nailed. Talking, of course, about the seductive act of the human blockhead. What did you think I was talking about? Now, you're probably wondering, how do these two meet? Well, it is a tale as old as time, and a sideshow romance for the ages. A classic story with the performer met Nail. Hi there. Let's just run away together. We need to bring a hammer with us. Kiss me. The Human Blockhead Act had become a staple in American sideshow since the early 1920s. While it's difficult to nail down the exact date the actors created, it had been rumored the first been performed by Indian fakirs in the early 1900s. Before given its official name, the feat had been used as part of the classic Human Pincushion Act. Human Pincushion, also known as the Torture King performance, involved taking metal skewers and piercing them through various parts of the body. Performers would meditate into a trance-like state, piercing the needles through their skin and miraculously drawing no blood in the process. The act that would be known as Blockhead drew attention to the audiences as one final feat, the art of seeing a real human drive a metal spike into their skull. With the circus and sideshow in their heights in the 1930s, many performers began to adapt the act that would be known as Blockhead in their own ways. This act would unknowingly draw the attention of the man who would go on to give the act its official name, a self-proclaimed seeker of the strange and unusual, the one and only Mr. Robert Ripley, owner of the now famously known Ripley's Believe It or Not Museums. Attending a performance, Ripley would publish the term Human Blockhead into his newspaper, as he stated, you had to be some sort of a blockhead to attempt this feat. After watching a young up-and-coming clown, who had not only at the time would go on to become the face of the human blockhead, Ripley drew this man into this comic and gave him worldwide fame. This man, Mr. Melvin Burkhart. <laughs> it's a very dirty laugh. I'll have it dry clean. Melvin Burkhart, the original human blockhead, was born in Atlanta, Georgia on February 16, 1907. A natural entertainer from an early age, Burkhart joined a traveling one-ring circus in the 1920s when he began to hone his craft as an entertainer. Melvin would not only go on to become the face of Blockhead, but also the one to redefine the act. From the early days of the Torture King, Melvin moved to a more family-friendly comedic bit, telling audiences he learned his amazing feat and his failed attempt at a boxing career in his youth. With a record zero win and nine losses, Melvin had broken his nose a record nine times, having his bone fragments reconstructed so many times he discovered this accident and created a new opening in his nasal cavity perfect for hammering ten penny nails into. Along with being a blockhead, Melvin was also a fire eater, sword swallower, magician, outside talker, and friend to all on the sideshow. Having toured the country over 60 years, Melvin worked with the James E. Short Sideshow 
Ringling Brothers, Barnum Bailey, and Ripley's, before ending his sideshow career days at Coney Island Sideshows by the Seashore, retiring in December of 1989 before moving to his home of Gibsontown, Florida with his wife, where he lived until his passing on November 8, 2001. A true entertainer till the end, Melvin will always be remembered as the true, original, human blockhead. Now then, back to our final feet. As you can see, I decided to slip into something a little bit more comfortable for our final act tonight. Me and my lovely friend here, we're going to have some fun on the roll of bola. See if we can get a little bit hammered. I'd be 